Hi, my name is Susie. Have you ever been with a group of people and wanted to show a fun picture on your camera, but you could only show one person at a time because the camera screen is so small? Have you ever had videos stored on your upstairs computer but wanted to show them to your friends on your downstairs TV? You can do these things over a home network using a technology called DLNA. I will explain more about what DLNA is later. Now, many people don't know exactly how to set up a home network, or they don't know if they actually have a home network. I wasn't sure if I did. Now, I'm not what you'd call technologically savvy, but I decided to learn some basics recently. So today, I'm going to show you two things. First, how to set up your home network. And when I do this, you may recognize, oh, I already have a home network. Second, I'm going to show you how to connect a smartphone, to a home network. Okay, let's talk about how to set up a home network. In order to access the internet, you need a modem. A modem connects to the internet through a phone line, a cable jack, or a satellite. And next you need a router. The router acts as a gateway for your devices to access the internet through the modem. Once your router is connected to the modem, you should do two things. Choose a network name, and then turn on the wireless security and set your password. Your home network is now set up, and you're ready to connect lots of DLNA certified devices to your network, like a computer, TV, tablet, Blu-ray player, printer, camera, smartphone, and even appliances like a refrigerator. Devices can be connected directly to the router with an Ethernet cable, or wirelessly. Now, for example, I'll show you how to connect a smartphone to your home network. Open your menu of apps and click on settings. Select wireless and networks. Choose Wi-Fi settings. Now you see a list of the available Wi-Fi networks. Select the network you would like to connect to. My network's called Calypso. Hit connect and that's it. It's really not that hard. Let's talk about DLNA. Remember, I mentioned it earlier. When electronic devices are connected to the home network, you can share pictures, videos, and music between them using DLNA technology. Did you know that hundreds of different companies make DLNA certified products? With DLNA, you have so many choices. You don't have to buy products from just one company. You're probably wondering if your device is DLNA certified. Look for the logo on your menu, on the box, in the specifications, or on the product itself. To see a full list of DLNA certified products, visit this website. So now that I have shown you how to set up a home network and connect a smartphone to it, and I've explained a bit about DLNA technology, go out and buy a DLNA smartphone, maybe a TV, tablet, camera, or whatever, and discover the possibilities. Now that you've set up your home network, check out this link to discover the possibilities with DLNA.